A few years later, the same contractor decided to use a large crane for the erection of heavy loads instead of a mass gantry system. The cranes used were a DMAC CC 4800, an American Hoist 9310 and a Money Talk 4600, which had to be mobilized to East Malaysia. Getting these huge cranes to a remote site isn't always easy. The crane was brought in on a flat top heavy lift barge and rolled off at a jetty approximately 8 kilometers north of the job site. With a width of 12.5 meters over the crawler tracks, the car body could just be maneuvered in between the customs house and a tree at the other side. The yellow support structures in between the crawler tracks are placed on timber mats and jack the crane up to a height so that both tracks can be removed for transport over the road to the job site. An 8 x line Cometo platform trailer has loaded the 150 tons car body without tracks and transported it to the job site. Erection of various columns on the job site had already been started using a Money Talk 4600 crawler crane. With a weight of only 80 tons, the column could be erected with a telescopic PH crane used as a tail crane. This story repeats itself over and over again. Connect the main lift crane to the top lifting trunnions and the tail crane to the tail lock. Lift the column out of the transport saddles and gradually move her from the horizontal into the vertical. Make sure that both crane lifting tackles stay vertical during the entire lifting procedure. Then release the tail crane and slew the column above foundation and place her over the foundation bolts. At the same time, the CC4800 is transported to the job site, followed by both tracks on a separate platform trailer. The first heavy columns arrive on the job site and are maneuvered under the reach of the DMAC CC4800 and American Hoist tail crane. The DMAC was rigged with 90 meters of main boom and superlift counterweight bogey in order to limit the maximum ground load to less than 10 tons per square meter. It was placed in a central position at the plant from where it could erect almost all columns.
The first column was a unit of only 100 tons, which was lifted into the vertical position and then slewed towards the foundation at a radius of 42 meters. The crane was placed on a base of crane mats with four hydraulic activated outriggers in between the crawler tracks to absorb approximately 30% of the load of the total crane. The superlift counterweight was placed on a special bogey connected to the back of the crane and hydraulically propelled to follow the slewing of the upper car body. With this attachment, the crane weight is better distributed over both crawler tracks and outriggers. A disadvantage is that the turning radius of crane and superlift bogey are increased to 26 meters and take up quite a bit of space on the job site. The CC4800 can also work with a superlift counterweight tray which greatly reduces the large turning radius. With its enormous lifting capacity at large radius, almost all columns and reactors could be placed from this centrally selected location on the job site in a very short period of time.